Let's talk about it with Bill Anderson. He's chairman and CEO of Bear. Uh, Bill, great to have you. Um, you've been in the job since, I believe, June of last year. This Capital Markets Day was a big day for you. Um, let's start off with what may have surprised some, the decision in no way to, per, to uh, pursue a breakup of the company. Um, why the choice to keep it all together, whether it's consumer health, farmer, or crop sciences? Yeah. Well, thanks, David, for having me on the show today. Um, as you said, an important question for sure. Um, you know, maybe just to remind folks, Bayer is a, is a company playing a really important role in medicine, in agriculture, in, in providing consumer with, with self-care options. And the, the idea of a breakup has that appeal of, you know, creating pure play companies, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it's also important to start with where we are. And where we are is we have these three great businesses with a lot of innovation happening. But we also have four key challenges that limit our flexibility, and, and we've got to tackle those challenges. We've got, to, we've got to put all the management, leadership, and frankly, the focus of the people squarely on that, and we think that's the best way forward. And we have a period of two to three years of sort of rejuvenation of the company, at which point we'll have the flexibility to take whatever structural measures we think are, are most appropriate. All right, but give me a better sense then as to why for the next 24 to 36 months, and as you say, it's not never, but it's the next 24 to 36 months, this is the best way to go, instead of perhaps saying, well, let's sell consumer health, which is a very strong business, for example. Yeah, well, let me give you one example. Um, one of the challenges we face is an inordinate amount of bureaucracy. And that bureaucracy gets in the way of Bayer people being able to get their job done every day, being able to serve the, the farmers, serving, serving consumers. It gets in the way of innovation. And we have an opportunity to radically change that. We have a system we call dynamic shared ownership. It's essentially putting 95% decision making in the hands of the people doing the work. Uh, this, is, this has been tried and tested in a number of leading companies in other industries. And we have an opportunity to bring this to bear. But it's an all-hands-on-deck exercise. It's, it's a total change in approach. It puts customers in the center. It puts innovation in the center. Uh, we can't do that and at the same time be breaking the company into pieces. Uh, well, you get to, uh, I guess, what was a key point of your presentation as well, this discussion of something you're, you call dynamic shared ownership, Bill, which, as you just described, is sort of a, a way to, at least for you, to attack these bureaucracies and eliminate the hierarchies. What exactly is it you're pursuing here, and when are you going to know whether you've been successful when it comes to dynamic shared ownership? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's a systematic and thorough kind of redo of how business is done in the company. We have 100,000 people serving customers, working in labs, working in, in uh, the, the, the trial fields for our crop products. And it's, it's basically, instead of having 11, air, 11 layers of hierarchy that are deciding what gets done and what doesn't get done, we basically flatten that out. We're taking out multiple layers of hierarchy. And as I said, we put the decision making with the people on the front lines. 95% of decisions are there. Uh, I, I have a lot of experience with this from my past jobs. Uh, it, it brings dramatic results. It's cost savings. We're, we're targeting $2 billion of cost savings in the next two years. But also, that's just the beginning because it speeds up everything. It makes customer intimacy a, a, a reality instead of a concept or a slogan. And we're really excited about what it can do. We, we had 50 teams operating in the new model at the end of last year. We have 300 now. By the end of this year, we'll have thousands, and it's going to affect every part of Bayer.